unboxing an oxyacetylene welding slash cutting handle. Um, this is a common tool when working on a car, uh, especially a car in New England that sees a lot of um, a lot of salt in the winter, a lot of snow. Um, sometimes the only way to get bolts off is either uh, melt them or heat them, um, and sometimes to get some components off, the only option is to cut them, heat them, um, cut them or heat them. So um, this is just a pretty basic, uh, a, high, a little, a pretty nice but basic kit. Um, you have your handles, your regulators, and we're just going to go through setting this up, um, and then proper maybe a, a few videos just on how to use them for different applications. So. Um, Inside, you always want to look for something that has the two regulators, um, one for the acetylene, one for the oxygen. Pretty much everything red is going to be acetylene or the fuel, and then anything green, gray um, is going to be uh, oxygen. Uh, you actually you have the actual torch itself, um, various tips depending on what you're trying to do, cut, weld, all different things. Um, this kit came with two different tips, which is nice. Um, and there's typically a hose as well, which I am going to assume is that here. Um, so we have our hose, uh, goggles, um, and a lighter. So, um, and this is a cleaner for the um, for the different tips, depending on uh, the types of tips that you have. Some require cleaning. Um, who knows? So. This is our kit. We're going to start assembling. Pretty complete. Came with the dolly and everything like that. These tanks a little bit larger than I was looking for, but uh, that was what their special came with. Um, probably we'll never have to get these filled again. Just kind of, or at least not for a while. Um, I needed one adapt, one additional adapter. Um, this guy is uh, an adapter for the acetylene for this particular um, hose setup. So we are going to finish putting all this together uh, or to hook this up I'm sorry not to hook this up to the hose but to hook this up to the, the regulator so we're going to start by cracking the valves or taking the covers off um, and cracking the valves quickly opening and closing them to get any um, any dust debris or anything anything like that that might be on them or in them out before we attach the uh, before we attach the regulators. So now that we have the covers off, we're going to, like I said, quickly open and close, close to get any, anything out of the way. We're going to want to look for any oils or anything like that. If you find any oil or anything like that, uh, you're going to want to discontinue the use of these. So after making a trip back to my local welding supply company uh, to get a different adapter, they the wrong one. We are able to get the uh, regulators onto the tanks. You want to make sure that you use a wrench to tighten them. You don't want to over tighten them, but you want to make sure that they're tight enough to seal. Um, and now that I have these on, we're going to uh, close the valve underneath to take pressure off the diaphragm so that we don't break it. Um, and to do that, you're going to want to make sure that you, you turn the bolt counterclockwise. So we're going to take care of that. So now that these are on, we, go, we so now that the regulators are on, we're going to turn these counterclockwise to make sure that the pressure is off of the diaphragm. Um, and then we're going to try, we're going to turn these on uh, to check for leaks. You always want to make sure that the regulator is not facing you or in between you and the valve. You do want to make sure that the, uh, the valve is pointing outwards away from you. God forbid anything were to happen, the pressure doesn't kick it off into you. So this, the acetylene looks good for us. We're going to close this back up. And we're going to check the oxygen one now, nice and slowly. All right, looks good. Closing the valves to push the contents out. Uh, this will also make sure that it gets all the dust and everything out, or any dust that might be inside out, before we connect the hoses. So now, 
We have the hoses, um, and you want to connect them accordingly. Uh, red to the acetylene, and blue, uh, I'm sorry, blue, uh, green to the oxygen. So we have taken off the uh, zip ties holding these on. So again, you want to make sure the red one goes to the acetylene, the green one goes to the oxygen. You may have to peel them apart a little bit. Um, you always want to use a wrench as well to make sure these seal. Um, and be aware too that some of these some of these have different threads than one would be used to. And then these hoses have a chemical inside that needs to be blown out before we can use them. So we are going to do that now. You always want to make sure that you do this in a very well ventilated area. Obviously uh, our uh, regulators are open so we're just going to use the tanks to push some of this stuff out. Again, you always want to take a look, make sure there's no oil or anything like that inside, because if there is, um, you want to return, stop using them immediately and return them. So we can now connect them to our handle. You're always going to want to check to make sure which one is for what. Um, and connect the correct oxygen one to the oxygen and the acetylene one to the acetylene. Or whatever fuel you might be using. I don't know if I've ever seen anything other than a settling. And then again, keep in mind, oxygen and acetylene have different threads. So, I'm going to use our adjustable wrench here. And they don't need to be torqued down massively, but it's just enough to sit the seals. So you have a nice sealed connection. Check the leaks again. Actually, we'll, we'll push it out and then check the leaks. So. Last but not least, the tip, the top half, and we're all set. We're good to go. I'm going to show how to set up a quick um, cutting tip. Um, it's been a little while. It's actually been a little while since I've used these. So, um, based on the tip size in your, you should have an uh, owner's manual that comes with it that shows uh, what the regulators should be set for for um, the size of the tip. This particular tip. Um, I have my oxyacetylene at 4 psi and the oxygen at 30. So um, I am going to turn the oxyacetylene on. I only turn it on a little bit. You want to turn it a little bit until you get the right amount that you want, and that's something you'll learn as you go. Open up the oxygen first one and then the cutting one has two so you turn the other one until you get a nice neutral tip and you're good to go.